Since the very beginning, Stream has always been a simple business plan. We gather a handful of customers and we teach others to do the same thing so that we can get paid on thousands. It's always been about team building so that we can generate what we call monthly earned income or MEI. And that's never going to change. That is who we are. But we have a program that also rewards for individual effort called Customer Plus. Now, if you're an associate with a start date prior to September 21st of 2017, there are some different rules on what customers you already have and how they apply to this program. See the FAQs in your Power Center to learn more about those rules. Now let's talk about what you need to know on how the Customer Plus program works. Customer Plus begins at 30 qualifying customer points and applies to energy and wireless customers only. This program pays in both recurring income and one-time bonuses as you cross the various Customer Plus thresholds. All commercial accounts count as one customer point as it's related to Customer Plus. That's important to understand because commercial pays differently in our regular compensation plan, where you could have one, two, three, or even four point valued customers. In Customer Plus, they will only be one point no matter where they fall in those tiers. And this includes both electric and gas commercial customers. All residential electric and Georgia gas customers count as one point. All other residential gas customers are a half point. Finally, and most importantly, all customers must be active for 60 days before they can contribute to this program. These are the rules specific to Customer Plus. However, MEI payment factors also affect Customer Plus payments, including attrition or customers that leave stream services. Minimum usage thresholds that apply in certain markets based on the service type. MEI multipliers, where a customer could exceed a certain amount of usage which would increase the customer point value for that customer and apply to this program accordingly. Then there's the meter reads, for example. A certain customer might be read twice in a certain bill cycle and pay you twice in that bill cycle for your MEI, which means the next month the payment will not appear and not pay into your MEI. In this case, that customer would be counted twice in one month for Customer Plus and not count at all in the next month. And finally, in many of our markets, the customers must pay their full invoice for payments to be released. All of these variables affect your Customer Plus payment. Now let's look at the chart. I mentioned thresholds. It begins at 30 qualifying customer points. And you can see here at what we call PCB30 that your recurring income is $200. Once you've crossed the threshold of PCB30, you'll also generate a one-time $500 bonus. Your next 15 customer points brings you to your next threshold of what we call PCB45. That would be $400 of recurring income and another one-time bonus of $500. Every increment of 15 customer points that qualifies in this program will increase your recurring income by $200. And each time you cross the next threshold for the first time, you'll receive a one-time $500 bonus. You see, in Customer Plus, you get paid not per customer point, but rather by the amount of qualified Customer Plus points, as described in this program, that are captured in a given MEI commission run. And the total number of qualified Customer Plus points captured is what will determine the threshold that you will be paid at, as illustrated on this chart. Your personal customer report is not reflective of how you get paid in Customer Plus. Now let's take a look at a specific example of a recurring income that someone might expect in Customer Plus based on how many personal customer points they've enrolled. We'll start with John Smith. When John looks in his power center, he sees that he has 75 active personal customer points. So with that information and knowing what the chart tells him, he believes he'll be paid at the threshold of PCB 75. And as a result, expects to make $800 of Customer Plus recurring income. Let's look at the actual breakdown when considering the rules and MEI payment factors. 40 are Northeast residential gas, which each count as half points. So that equates to 20 points as it relates to Customer Plus. 10 are Georgia residential gas, 
However, five of these customers are below minimum usage and will not contribute to MEI or Customer Plus. Finally, 25 are residential electric accounts, but three of these are less than 60 days in the system, so they do not contribute to the program yet. So as you can see here, John actually has 47 Customer Plus points that qualify, putting him at the $400, just above the threshold of PCB45, not the $800 that John Smith expected. Now let's look at Jane Doe. She has enrolled 45 personal customer points. Her expectation is that she will receive $400 of recurring income from the Customer Plus program as indicated on the chart. However, let's take a look at those 45. Of the 45 customer points, 37 are residential electric in Texas, but 12 customers did not pay their bill and will not contribute to MEI or Customer Plus. This brings the new count to 25 personal customer points that qualify for Customer Plus. Additionally, three of her points are wireless. There are also five that are Georgia residential gas but only one of the five paid their bill. So only one qualifies for MEI and Customer Plus. Therefore, her final personal customer points that qualify for Customer Plus add up to 29, which is just below our first threshold of 30. Therefore, she received no Customer Plus recurring income instead of the $400 she thought she would earn. It's important, as you can see, to understand these variables and factors to gauge your earnings from this program accurately. In our last example, we'll look at Bill Bilchakin. He's our big time customer gatherer. Bill Bilchakin has 125 personal customer points. He's excited at the possibility of earning $1,400 of Customer Plus recurring income. But again, let's look at the breakdown. 57 are residential electric. Of the 57, seven of these customers failed to pay their full invoice in markets that require it, while another 20 of the remaining 50 fell below minimum usage. Therefore, only 30 of these 57 residential electric customer points are captured and will qualify for Customer Plus during this payment run. We also see that there are 20 Northeast residential gas, which each account a half point, totaling 10 that qualify. Now, in Bill's case, he also has 38 commercial points, but five of those 38 points are accounts with a two-point value. So there are only 33 commercial accounts, which equates to 33 Customer Plus points in this program. And finally, 10 of the 125 points are wireless customer points. Now, when we add up our residential electric, our Northeast gas, our commercial, and our wireless, we can conclude that Bill Bilchakin has 83 Customer Plus points. So instead of the $1,400 he thought he would earn, he earned $800 for exceeding the threshold of PCB75 on our Customer Plus chart. The rules of the Customer Plus program and the MEI payment factors are important to understand in order to accurately assess your Customer Plus payments. You will see fluctuation from month to month, and that's why it's important that you understand why and how you get paid. The key for this program is to keep gathering your personal customers and don't look back. As those qualifying Customer Plus points are captured each month, that will determine your Customer Plus payment, not your active personal customer point count that you see in your power center. Remember, the foundation of growing your stream income is accomplished through team building. And with the addition of Customer Plus, which rewards individual effort in gathering customers, the possibilities with Stream are endless.